My name is Sir Wilco. Uh, I'm the owner of uh, Intermarket. Uh, we have uh, two uh, production lines. Uh, one production line where we're baking small dry biscuits. And on the other uh, production line we are producing uh, the syrup wafers. Uh, Stroopwafels is a very famous, typical Dutch, uh, Dutch product. We are located in, uh, in Montfort, close to Utrecht, also close to Amsterdam, in the middle part of Holland. We don't have our own brand. Uh, in the past we have, but uh, the last years you see that the most of our products are private label products. We have to find a way to, to get a better uh, profit uh, margin on your products. And you can do that. You can try to buy cheaper your raw materials. You can try to increase your uh, selling price, but that's always difficult. Eh? It's not uh, nice to say to your customer, I have to increase the price with some euro cents. And so you try to find other solutions to keep the cost down. And then you come to uh, automatization. try to find suppliers who can help us to find the right solution uh, to pack our products automatically. Uh, I know Tehama, I know the people. Tehama is also a small family company. Yeah, it's nice to, to do businesses with uh, family companies because you understand each other much better. They invest also a lot of time and money in, in, in your company to solve the problem. The biggest challenge with Intermarket is the, 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 big, the big amount of cookies. All different sizes, toppings on them. There are so many uh, different kinds of packaging. Uh, I need so many angles of a robot. In that application they want to tilt also the products. You pick it up flat from, uh, from the conveyor, you tilt it and put it into uh, a blister. And uh, that only can be done within five or six axis round. If you look to our history, we always packed our cookies by hand. And now we do a lot by machinery. They can give uh, very strange movements uh, to put it into the tray. Almost the same as you do it by hand. So we decided to go for the, uh, to the ERB 140, uh, the six axis robot. Before we starting, one of the goals were also uh, keep the system easy to use. The same people have packed uh, the products by hand a few years ago. They, uh, they can rebuild the robots now by themselves. Interbocket is a, is a company that makes very short production run, runs. So when he changed over, it must be very short and very quickly. We make changing parts. So you, you take off a part, click another one on, and you can run again. The changeover is now between five and ten minutes between two completely different products. I always think at uh, flexibility. Try to be flexible uh, everywhere in your company. Uh, to the people, uh, to your products, uh, how to pack your products, to the, to the customers. Try to solve uh, their problems. And that's a strong point for, for small companies, I think. Since this experience with ABB, I'm able to develop more machines with products that I couldn't make machines for in the, in the past. So my business is going bigger. We're absolutely going to use more robots in the future. It opens a market for me yeah, to do more difficult products that conventional lines couldn't do in the, in the past. Mm -hmm.